Gary's just like one of the most genuine sort of truthful people like I've ever met. Um, he's also just a great laugh as well. He's just got bundles of energy. He's a really fun bloke. He's always cracking a joke. He's always making it enjoyable for you, even when you're coaching. He is one of snooker's most respected coaches. Gary Filtness, three times London amateur champion, is someone who knows his way around the table. But it hasn't always been plain sailing. I come from a sort of a HDM background, and I got in a little bit of trouble when I was about nine or ten, and I was locked in my bedroom with a six-foot snooker table. I was an academically clever at school, so the snooker I just could see it easy. I just, sort of, I just felt comfortable in it. On track for a successful career in top class snooker, the whole world was at his feet. But in 1991, it all came to an end. If, if people don't know what the Yips is, it's, uh, I, su I suppose, Eric Christo, the world champion dark player, is the prime example. He couldn't release the dark, so it was a timing issue, and I, and I got it with the cue. Desperate to stay part of the game, Gary turned his attention to coaching. His teaching methods have proven to be a huge success. What Gary does is he actually he actually gives you exactly what you need for your specific game. So yeah, you can waste a lot of time doing and learning this stuff yourself, or you can go get a coach and go get a mentor. It's just gonna really, really help you. Excellent. Basically, I try and keep it as natural as, as you can, because uh, I don't think any, any standard, myself, your standard, anyone's standard, no one's ever aiming to miss. But most players just want to learn how to pop balls. Perfect, what a good Gary has helped many of today's top professional players, including five-time world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan. I've never actually took money off a professional. Like, you, the, the high profile, we'd, we'd say Ronnie. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I was always giving him advice. I was never, never his coach, never ever said I was, but he'd say in his book, which I'm in mean, his book, he said that I was a big help to him in his, in his younger days. Temperament can often be an issue amongst snooker players, so Gary has a unique approach to each individual. I like players who, who have a little scream up and you can see that they're annoyed. Other people like Steve Davis and they'd sit in the chair and you wouldn't know if they were winning or losing. That's the best temperament. But for entertainment and value, I, I like a bit of aggression in a, in a player. I like a young kid coming to me rough and ready and you can go, look, you got away with that one. Now calm it down. Everyone's different, everyone's understanding is different, everyone's ability is different, um, everyone's learning capabilities are different. Stay there, now you can look. How good was that? I'd like to see one of the youngsters come through, win a competition before I die. Because I'm at that age. It gives me pleasure when I see them winning trophies. Like a little bit,